Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. This is Gigi, and I'm trying to get my walk on this morning. It's a little chilly this morning, but it, this is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. I suggest you walk around where it's warm, but right now, here in the 757, a little cloudy this morning. They said some snow is headed our way. You know, I like a little bit of snow. I don't want a blizzard, but maybe about an inch, you know, just kind of cover the ground. Mama used to say when it's snow, it gets the germs out of the air. But anyway, uh, we're kind of excited. Uh, today is um, MLK Day, Dr. Martin Luther King birthday. Uh, recognition today. And uh, Dr. King, he was just a a wonderful leader. Nobody said that he was perfect or anything, but he led by example. He led by example. And you know, lately I've been uh, reading a lot of his, uh, around this time, read his speeches and his sermons and uh, shared one uh, at church yesterday, the, the speech that he gave the day right before he was assassinated. He was talking about when he was stabbed uh, by a woman when he was autographing the books. And um, he said if he had just sneezed, uh, he would have died because that knife was so close uh, to his heart. And a young girl sent him a letter, a student sent him a letter and said, I'm glad you didn't sneeze. And by the way, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, hope you, uh, had a wonderful weekend this past weekend. Hope you worship at your church. We had a wonderful time at Grace and Twine um, Ministries yesterday, as we always do. Because as we say, you're going to find real love at the gym. Thank God for our visitors yesterday. But you know what? I was just thinking about um, Dr. King and what uh, wonderful uh, lessons that he left. My gym nugget today is be great, serve. Be great, serve. And uh, I'm coming from, and uh, this lesson was in our daily bread this morning, and also as I was thinking about uh, what I was going to talk about this morning, when I read a sermon um, by Dr. King uh, called The Drum Major Instinct, he shared the same story um, that is in our daily bread today. From the drum major instinct, this is what um, Dr. King said. This was just part of it. He said, yes, if you want to say that I was a drum major, say that I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for righteousness. And all of the other shallow things will not matter. I won't have any money to leave behind. I won't have the fine and luxurious things of life to leave behind. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. And that's all I want to say. Because he had, he had shared um, this story uh, from Mark 10.43 uh, where two of his disciples, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him because he was getting ready to leave the world. He was getting ready to be crucified. And he said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said, what do you want me to do for you? He said, let one of us sit on your right hand and the other sit on your left hand in your glory. And Jesus said, wait, wait a minute. You really don't know what you're asking. Can you really drink the cup? He was talking about not just a cup of grape juice. He was talking about the cup of suffering or be baptized with the baptism that I'm going to be baptized with. And they just didn't know. They just said, we can. And Jesus said, yeah, you will. You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I'm going to be baptized. But, you know, really to grant you uh, positions to sit on my right or my left side, you know, that's only for those that just prepared by the Father. So, now the other 10, they tried to act like they didn't have the same thing in mind. When they heard that they were indignant toward James and John, like, why did you do that? But he called them all together. And he said, you know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles 
lord it over them and their high officials exercise authority over them but this is the thing this was the point <clears throat> he says whoever wants whoever becomes great among you must be your servant let me say that again whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant dr king referred to it and he said it like this he says everybody can be great because anybody can serve did you hear what i just said he said everybody everybody i don't care what your background is or how rich or how poor or what background you came from he said everybody can be great because anybody can serve oh yeah hey, he said a mouthful then jesus said it too everybody can be great because see people don't want to serve they want to be great and they want all of this but they don't want to serve and god is calling for those that will serve him that's how you're going to be great is when you serve as i was reading uh this morning daily bread they they shared a story about um this actress the actress um michelle nichols and a lot of you may know her as Lieutenant Uhura in Star Trek because she was the first uh, African-American woman to have a, a major TV show role. But what happened, and uh, she had resigned from Star Trek after its first season to return to theater work because, as you probably can imagine, she was facing some backlash during that time for serving in that role but she met Dr. King and Dr. King encouraged her urged her not to leave because he said for the first time for the first time African Americans were being seen on TV as intelligent people who could do anything even go to space and by playing Lieutenant Uhura Nichols was achieving a greater win showing black women and children what they could become. See, when you serve, it's serving a higher purpose than what you may expect. So that's why Jesus said, mm -hmm, be, uh, uh, if you're going to be great, you need to be a servant. That's why Dr. King said, everybody can be great because anybody can serve. Thank you, Dr. King. Thank you, Dr. King, for those marvelous words. You want to be a drum major? When I think about drum major, you know, our, our uh, son was a percussionist. He wasn't a drum major, but he was a drum captain. Did very well. But that's a humble spirit of service, and that has taken him uh, far as well. As a matter of fact, our son's birthday is tomorrow, the day after uh, Dr. King's birthday. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that's two great leaders. But anyway, um, uh, I just thank God for the legacy of Dr. King. Of Dr. King. Amen. I love that. Be great, sir. Everybody can be great because everybody can serve. Oh my goodness. Thank you for joining me while I walk out here. <laughs> it's getting cold. I, I, it feels like it's going to snow. It, I wouldn't be surprised if I see a flake or two fall right now. It's like it's perfect <laughs> for that. But anyway, um, you be blessed. You be warm. Um, enjoy your day today. If you are off, uh, make it a day maybe of service, not just um not just you know a day off i know take your day off if you gotta take your day off rest but every day really should be a day of service because don't forget everybody can be great because anybody can serve uh, before i leave i just want to thank all of you that tune in uh, to this gym nugget channel we're up to 11 thousand subscribers and we're we're growing we, we're just so encouraged um 
you know, to spread uh, good news and inspiration and good news of Jesus Christ. We want to encourage somebody. We want to inspire uh, others. When I say we, I'm talking about Pastor James E. Gilmore uh, Sr. and I of Grace and Twine Ministries. So uh, we love you all because it says <laughs> you're by real love at the gym. So thank you for joining us and viewing Oh, Lord, God, I just believe God is just going to do some wonderful things in this year of 2024. But don't forget what we said. Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. Bye.